What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends news today. Lots been happening in the past couple days. So let's go. First of all, the daily missions are back finally. It's been away for a couple days. Some people found a way to exploit and get some uh, like millions of fame per hour. They had to shut down the daily missions because of that. But they're finally back. Daily missions are awesome. It's a great way to get quick fame and have a chance to unlock some perks on your new weapons and stuff. Next up, yesterday the patch 0.5.1's been released and uh they fixed the loot, guys. They they told us they were going to fix the loot uh with patch 0.5.1. They also fixed a bunch of bugs, but the most important thing we were wondering is are they going to fix the loot? They said they were going to do it. They did not lie. I've been doing a bunch of arenas yesterday and I got a lot of purples. I haven't seen purples in days before the, the patch. Like after 0.5.0, it was super dry. It has like two days of uh, super nice drop rates and then they nerfed it. It's been only blues for the past couple days, not a single purple. It was crazy. But yesterday I run some arenas with my friends and first run, I think I had two or three purples. My buddy Dukon had a legendary yesterday also. So it is a good sign. We finally are back to seeing some purples and legendaries in the arena. <sighs> I was kind of scared. I, I really hope they were going to fix it. So I don't know about you guys. Leave me a comment below. Did you get any luck yesterday uh, after the patch? By the way, if you don't have the patch, make sure you go on Google Play Store or the App Store because maybe you have to download the patch manually. It may not be done automatically for some of you guys. I know I had to download it from the Google Play Store. Now the next one is huge. It comes again from the Facebook group. Check this out. Hey guys, we'd like to start a conversation. And remember guys, you just want to test out how we feel about this, okay? So it's about the fame. Uh, as you know, many players recently discovered a fame exploit and farm the shit out of it. Unfortunately, we cannot simply remove their fame because of this exploit. It also affected other people that didn't know about it. So they were not using it. They just gained fame without knowing it. So if they wipe it out, they wipe it out for everyone. It's complicated. But what he wants to ask you, check it out. How would you suggest we solve it? Our best solution is this. We will introduce seasons where the most famous players will be rewarded and the overall fame reset. Everybody will have a chance to become number one player. This solution will also complement our esport direction in the near future. But hey, it is your game and I would like to hear your suggestions. Please let us know. Guys, seasons in Shadowgun Legends, are you kidding me? This is what people have been asking since the start. I know it's not everyone, and I know some people will not agree. This post is on fire, by the way. I don't even know how many comments it's got in the past couple hours. But Seasons is awesome. It keeps people playing. It can be great. It can be bad. It really depends what they want to do with that. But the way I see it, they shouldn't be too long. If it's too long, people just uh, get bored. They should give rewards. And not just for the top players of the season. The way season would involve or make everyone involved in the game is just put some milestone. Okay, everyone can reach the milestones and everyone can get some rewards depending on the time they want to put and the effort they want to put. But I see it this way. You have some milestones. It could be fame milestones. Let's say uh, every 200,000 uh, fame you get something exclusive camo paint seasonal rewards it could be some exclusive cosmetics that you can only get in the season and if you reach 1 million fame you get the big thing like a special weapon or a weapon that exists but with a special uh, skin for example or it could be like an exclusive color or five cans to paint your whole armor or anything but it gives you a reason to play the game again every season and you start again from scratch at the end of the season. It could be two months, three months, one month. So it could be that, just fame milestones that you have to reach. And if you reach the top before the end of the season, you get the final reward. But it could be a bunch of small rewards at every milestone. Uh, build a whole set of gear, for example, if you can do all the steps. Uh, 
It could also be seasonal achievements. Throw out a list of achievements that you have to do in the season. And each achievement will give you a special reward. So it gives players things to do and it keeps the game fresh all the time. And even if you already did those things, you will want to do them again because you get some exclusive rewards for doing it again. So I see the positive in all that. It, it has to be positive and it has to be refreshing for the new players, for the old players, for everyone. But I see where the big bug is. It's about the fame reset. And I totally understand that some players don't want to see their fame wiped out because the argument is just because of some like six cheaters, all of us will get punished. This is unfair. That's the big argument out there, but I don't see it that way. And I don't see why fame should be such a big thing. The only reason that motivates the players to cheat is because the leaderboards is based on fame. The first thing you see when you open the leaderboard is the fame. So of course people will go and play the game a different way just to get the fame, because that's what you see when you open the leaderboard. You see the name of the most famous players. If it was something else, like if fame was still there, but on the fifth page or something or whatever, but if you open the leaderboard and what you see is most kills or most wins or whatever you want to put out there, it would change the whole game and people would do something else. Or maybe people would cheat to get more kills, you know? But the thing is, when you have a leaderboard, you have people wanting to be on the leaderboard. And when you have that, anytime you have competition, you will have people trying to cheat. It's... I don't want to say it's okay, but every everywhere in the world when you have some competition, you will see cheaters. If you have a seasonal leaderboard and you reset the leaderboard every season, everyone start fresh, even the new players. Think about a new player that just came out today, download Shadowgun Legends, open the leaderboard, and he see 12 million fame. He's never going to get a chance to get number one, you know? So I think it's a good thing for the new players. It's a bad thing for the veterans. But they have to find a way to be happy with that and they have to give them something. So end of season rewards, depending on your rank, is a good thing. Uh, milestone rewards that anyone can achieve if they play a lot. Uh, achievements that can give rewards is a bunch of good things. And the last thing would be maybe guild achievements or seasonal rewards for guilds. Right now, at the moment I'm recording this video, there's no rewards for guilds there's no reason to really be in a guild but if they give seasonal rewards for guilds you start everyone at zero and at the end of the season if you get some guild milestones or reward for the standings uh people will actually have a reason to build some strong guilds of active players and people would be rewarded at the end so i only see positive here guys but i know because i read the facebook of course some people are not happy, but you have to understand the end goal. I think it will make the game great, and I think it's got a lot of potential. I really believe in seasons. I've been playing other games. I see the good and the bad in seasons. Of course, after 11 seasons, you have to come up with some new stuff. You cannot just do the same thing every season. You have to come up with great ideas every season, great rewards, something that will get people to play. So although it's just an idea and they are looking like they're testing the waters, this post right here kind of prove that it is coming. We will have seasons. Look at this one. It's a screenshot of a private conversation. Yakub again says, time for explanation. We can remove the fame and blah, blah, blah. But till the middle of the message where the fame will be reset, end of season zero this season, will happen very soon it will also give us time to seal all the fame exploits and make sure season one will be awesome as awesome as possible it will also be the end of complaining about beta players had much more time to accumulate fame thanks for understanding so it really looks like they're testing the waters but they made their decision it seems and it is going to happen that's how i see it now the thing is, instead of complaining, like, post your ideas, guys. How do you see it? Like, how can we make this thing great? How can we enjoy seasons 
and how can we make it so everyone will be happy and everyone will find something in it now i want to hear from you guys make sure to post a comment below i read everything i want to see who's happy who's not happy and why i'm thinking about my community the jhc gaming viewers the guys from the discord the guys from the stream how do you see it because i can only see the positive i see this is the greatest mobile game i played ever and season is something we've been talking about for the past two months it's been something we've been wanting from the start it cannot be bad i think so thank you guys so much for watching once again leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications and watch my other videos i will see you guys real soon take care Bye.